Welcome back again. Um, our friend Philip here, uh, back in All Saints Church. Uh, it's my turn to uh, lead assembly again. Uh, excellent stuff. And uh, hope you like the picture of the chickens, which, uh, if technology is working well, uh, I have put at the beginning of this uh, video. Um, they're my chickens, and uh, they're rather special chickens because, well, I do like them, I have to say, I'm very biased. Um, and, and spring is here, uh, we've had Easter now, and they're starting to lay eggs. It's taken a while, because they weren't laying at all over the winter months, but they are now laying eggs, and I'll show the evidence. Here we are. Here is one of my home-grown eggs. They're only quite small, because they're bantam eggs. Um, but they're, uh, look at that, lovely white colour. Uh, really nice um, and uh, yeah and they're very very tasty eggs I have to say uh, very yellow yolks they're very pampered chickens they they're looked after very well uh, anyway why am I talking about chickens well the thing about chickens I'll just put this down the thing about chickens is that um, uh, they're really great at lots of things but Notoriously, they can't fly very well, uh, and uh, if I have to chase a chicken to um, give it a bath or, or maybe put it in at night and it's trying to escape or something, um, well, yeah, it's a bit of a chase, and you run around the garden, and but but they don't fly away; they just sort of run and uh, they flap their wings and they look as though they're about to run. And and at a push, I have seen. Uh, a chicken probably jump about that high and fly onto a, a little branch of a tree. But it was a really low branch and it didn't stay there very long. So they're not really designed to go up. Uh, but, but I'm going to tell you a Bible story about the time when Jesus flew. Did you know that? Did you know Jesus flew? Um... I'll start at the beginning. Uh, Jesus was, uh, as you know, uh, an amazing God incarnate. That's a fancy word for saying. Basically, Jesus was doing everything that you would expect God to do on earth. And he was healing people. He was performing miracles. He was teaching. Uh, he was welcoming people. He was forgiving them. He was cleansing places. He was, he was doing the most amazing things. He was accepting people and uh, he was challenging them as well. And of course, when he challenged people, sometimes that made certain people really angry. They turned against him. And uh, if you remember Good Friday, uh, they tried to kind of shut Jesus out. They, they put him on a cross. Uh, Jesus died on a cross. Uh, but even as he died, he was forgiving everybody around him. He was loving us right to the very end. And then Jesus' best friends uh, took him down from the cross and they put him in a tomb. And for three days, he, his dead body lay in a tomb. And then famously on Easter morning, uh, the stone that was covering the, the, the tomb was rolled away magically and when they looked inside, Jesus' very closest friends, uh, it was empty. And they had visions of angels. And they also saw Jesus himself uh, still with the scars on his hands and on his feet. But saying, I am alive and I'm with you. Now, we know that story. But what you don't maybe uh, realize is that uh, Jesus appeared to people uh, not just for a day or two, not just say, da da, here I am, all right, I'm off. Uh, 40 days, 40 days, 10, 20, 30, 40 whole days, he appeared to different people in different places. Uh, the Bible says at one stage he appeared to 500 people at once. He appeared to people behind locked doors. He appeared to people on roads. He appeared to people when they were eating meals. 
And Jesus was saying, look, I'm really risen from the dead. But after 40 days, Jesus had to do something really, really special. He had to go back home. And it says in the Bible that Jesus uh, took uh, some of his disciples up onto a high um, a hill just outside of Jerusalem. And uh, uh, he gave them some instructions. He said, um, uh, go up to Galilee, wait, I'm going to be sending you a helper. I've got to leave, I've got to go home to heaven, but I'm going to send one who is a helper and of course we now know that that was the holy spirit that was going to come at pentecost and i'm sure you'll get an assembly about that really soon um, and then a strange thing happened because jesus uh, lifted up his hands and blessed them and as he lifted up his hands and blessed them his whole body started to rise up and up and up and the disciples were staring up and up and up and they couldn't believe that Jesus was flying and he was going right up to heaven and that is called the ascension like you ascend a staircase the ascension and they looked up and up and up until he went into the clouds and disappeared completely then the disciples had to wait they were amazed at what they'd seen but they had to wait 10 whole days and then the helper came and the helper's name as we know is the holy spirit just before jesus went he said i promise to be with you forevermore even though he was going up to heaven he promised that through the holy spirit through that helper he would always, always, always be with us. Now you might want to hold on to that because if you ever think that God's far away, remember those last words of Jesus. I am going to be with you always, even to the end of time. What an amazing promise. I'm gonna sing a song. Um, I have sung it before, sort of before assemblies and things. I don't think we've sung it in assemblies. But uh, it's called Light of the World, and, and I like it because it kind of fits in with Ascension. So I'll, I'll sing it, and um, uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, if you know some of the words, maybe you can pick up some of the words as we go along. Uh, we'll see. And uh, we've got the candle that's been lit behind me already. And uh, that's really appropriate because this song is called Light of the World, Light of the World. So we're going to uh, uh, sing this together.
that song um i love that song because he's a king of all days so highly exalted glorious in heaven above and that's where jesus is he's in heaven at the right hand of the father but he's also right here with us through the holy spirit and he promises always to be with us even to the very very end of time um let's say the lord's prayer i'll say a little prayer first and then we'll say the lord's prayer so heavenly father we thank you uh, that your son is indeed with us through the holy spirit come lord and help us every day help us in our learning at school help us in our friendships help us at home and we pray for all those that we have on our hearts at the moment uh, the people that we love the most and uh, the things that bother us the most and um, lord we pray that we we thank you that we can give you all these things because you're with us and we pray for our teachers and for our friends and family we pray all of this in jesus name amen and we'll say the lord's prayer together our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Well, let's see if we can... Uh blow the candle out with um, uh, your amazing hands let's see if we can do this are you going to wave your hands really really fast and see if we can blow the candle out oh, you probably won't do it anyway we'll try it three two one just did it well done see you next time <laughs>